this is going to be a quick guide about an easy way to tank Verzik and also an easy way on how to set up a fog tank. To tank Verzik on P3, you want to pay attention to the way her model snaps back into her neutral animation after an attack. If you look at her after she attacks, you can see she kind of snaps out of her attack animation. This is the timing I use to tank Verzik. After the snap animation, you can wait two ticks and click under on the third tick. It's easy to see this with the metronome that I've turned on for these clips. You can do this even after purple tornadoes happen, except if there are tornadoes out, you have to click under her or away from her the tick when you visually see her snap back into her neutral animation. You'll see this during the pog tank part of the video. After webs, to time the step under correctly, you want to wait until you get your second scythe XP drop and then treat that XP drop the same as Verzik snapping into her neutral animation. You see the XP drop, you wait two ticks and click under on the third tick. To set up a pog tank easily, you want to stand on the southwest corner before proccing purples. Then once you see the tornadoes appear, you want to click diagonally southeast three times, and you want to click the first one at the same time the tornadoes start to move. Then, after three tiles southeast, you attack Verzik and run to the east corner. Once you see her animation snap to neutral, you click to run through her, then attack. Then you repeat this using her snap animation to time the step under. When the green ball comes out, you continue running until the ball hits somebody. Then you wait at the corner for two ticks after it hits someone, clicking run under on the third tick and can continue the pog tank. There's lots of ways to do a pog tank and Atty's video I'll put in the description covers it a lot more in depth. This is just a basic guide on how to do it. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped.